guys, welcome back to another episode of FNT. It's your brand new host, B Mo. Austin got demoted because he's a hoe. <clears throat> How you feeling today, guys? What up, y'all? We back in the fucking what? podcast. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm just joining in with you. What do you oh, mean? Oh, dude. I'm just joining in, dog. How the fuck are you, B Mo? I got my boy BMO here. It's your boy. <laughs> I already did the intro. We got Trev in this bitch. Who's you? What up, y'all? Can't How intro my intro. Dude. I didn't intro your intro, dog. I'm just fucking joining along with you. <laughs> that was a good intro, dude. You did a good job. Thanks, man. I, I actually like your first intro that nobody's going to hear. That yeah, one was yeah. pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that one was good, dude. That will forever live in the back of my mind, right? Free. <laughs> and it's the greatest thing ever. Hey, before we get into this episode, though, a, few, uh, a, simple, a simple announcement for the listeners here. If you would like to... Send us some topics, questions, or maybe something that is a bit more personal that you want to keep anonymous, but a DM isn't anonymous enough. Email us at Friday Night Therapy 3 at gmail.com and we gladly discuss it on the motherfucking podcast. I figured that we would create an email because I know DMs. I can say they're anonymous, but fuck, maybe you don't want me to even see what the fuck you're saying, you know? Email us. I don't know what the fuck your email is, nor do I care. But yeah, I figured I'd throw that out there before the show starts. What up, boys? How the hell are you? Oh, what up? Tired. Don't say that. <laughs> tired. I'm like, tired. I'm like physically tired, but like not mentally. Ooh, that's you a know? business, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can be physically tired as much as I want to. As long as I'm mentally there, I'm good to go, dude. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. I was like, I haven't done the type of work that the new job requires in like a while. Cause my new right. job, my last job was actually pretty easy. So it's just like the last couple of days is kind of like fucking, I'm not like worn out, but I'm kind of tired. Definitely right. Right. It. Yeah. Well, the reason we've it. been moving podcast day to Wednesday is because like every fucking Monday night, I just seemingly don't get enough sleep and I don't want to be tired for the podcast, dude. My brain, if I don't get seven hours of sleep, yeah. podcast day, I'm fucked, dude. Like my brain can't function properly i can't form sentences coherently i can't articulate what i'm trying to say at all dude i feel like my brain is starving and that's because of lack of sleep yeah i didn't want to do it last night either because i was like obviously the game was on <laughs> if it went into game seven and it was tonight i would have been like fuck i don't want to do it tonight either because i had to watch dude i had yeah, to watch. i can't i can't believe you didn't fucking like tell me way earlier like hey dude podcast is not happening tuesday fucking we got fucking what, what's well, it I called? Playoffs, that, I, championships, whoa, what's whoa, it called? World whoa, Series. Whoa, I saw, World I, Series. So I thought, I thought that they were gonna win Sunday, Halloween night. So we watched Halloween. They blew that fucking game. Oof. So then last night, well, you because I was just like, fuck it, whatever. I'll just follow the game on my phone or whatever. But I'm glad I didn't. Ah, uh, okay, okay. They fucking shit on them last night and then won the World Series, bro. Won the World Series just yeah, like that. Yeah. Done and done. I seen it all over the place. Obviously, I knew about it. I don't give a fuck about it, but I figured Bimo would be excited about it today. I walked in and I, or he walked in rather, and I was like, "What up, champ? What up, champ?" Bimo, I feel like is a part of the fucking team, dude. Yeah, he might I was as well like, be a part of the team. I was like, uh, yeah, I don't know. I wasn't feeling great last night, so it was like hard to get hype about it. But I, I was fucking stoked. I still am in her in, in inside. I'm fucking. I, I like know. that fucking sweatshirt, dog. That sweatshirt's actually dope as fuck. I hate, I hate the Virginity Rocks fucking so shit. So but the sweatshirt I. itself is actually dope. I absolutely it hate looks comfy. Rocks. It yeah, looks comfy. Yeah, I, as I fuck. fucking literally don't like the sweater. Yeah, it's dope though. It's dope. The fit is dope. The color is dope. Yeah, yeah. I just wear it. I don't know. There's something like, that, and I feel like putting on clothes today. There's something I love about a fucking gray, just a gray sweatshirt. Yeah. Like if you can rock it, you can fucking walk. You can rock it. Period. Yeah. Yeah. How's your Halloween? I agree. Um. What'd you, what'd you do for Halloween? So like Saturday night, nothing really. I mean, like went to a little fire and just not even drink or nothing really. Cause I had to drive home. Fucking, I didn't do anything crazy at all this weekend. I've been feeling, like, I, some, like I told you earlier. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I've been fucking feeling weird lately, dude. I've been yeah. Fucking, what the fuck is going on? It feels like, I don't know. Sick. Not sick. I'm fucking dying, dude. I don't know. Weird chest pains and shit. Have you been eating properly? Yeah. I eat so yeah, eating fine. the same as normal. Yeah. Yeah. Feel fine today though. Have you been drinking something that you normally don't drink, like a ton of orange juice in the morning no. with this new job? No, no, no. This is like the past week. Really? Yeah, this wasn't even like the last couple of days. It's like the past week. That's not good. Have you taken any tums? Yeah, I have. Yeah. Oh yeah. Is it, does it help? 
Not really. It's only not like really. when I eat, but like the la- it's like I eat or drink anything. But like today, I feel fine. Like really, midday today, like kind of like sort of like went away. But like last night, I didn't even like eat dinner because I just fucking my shit just hurt. Jesus Christ! Dude. When you lay down, it feels worse, which was weird. So I just like started googling symptoms and shit. Right, right, right. That like, terrible right. idea. Yeah, yeah, I was like, I probably just have some fucking shitty acid reflux. You probably have shit. cancer. This that yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you know, I was You're on like, the verge of a heart attack. It's either gonna fucking go away or it's fucking not. Right. That's that's kind of the person you are, huh? Yeah. You're just like, well, I'm not gonna do anything about this. So <laughs> I fucking die. Hopefully, it's in my sleep because I don't want to feel it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Would you rather die if if to, if tomorrow you knew you were gonna die? Would you rather die in your sleep or die doing something that you love to do? Uh. What the fuck? If I like one, dude. It is. Yeah. Yeah, No, 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 no. no. What the fuck? (laughs) If I don't know that I'm going to die, like, yeah, I'd love to be doing something that I love and then, like, somehow, like, tragically, I die. But, like, if I know that I'm going to die and all I have to do is fall asleep, then, yeah, I'd probably rather just pass out and die. Yeah. You don't know when you're going to die exactly. Like, it's not going to be at 2 p.m. tomorrow, but at some point throughout the day, like you're probably gonna die today, or you're for sure gonna die today. I'd probably just sleep. Just it be off. like, fuck it, I'm in my bed. I don't give a shit. Yeah, because I don't want to like be doing something like fucking wild. And just be like, <laughs> that's what, that's what you said that, and what popped into my head was like, oh shit, I'm fucking driving a Ferrari yeah. down the road, <laughs> yeah, or right, shit. Right. and I just uh, and then right. fucking into traffic. You're I'm like, hanging out with all your buddies. You don't tell any of them anything, and you. Just, <laughs> You dramatically die in front of everybody. Yeah. <laughs> They'll ruin their fucking lives, Holy dude. Holy shit. Damn. Half of them resent each other now. They're like, no, you killed Craig. <laughs> <laughs> Back to Halloween talk. Um, what, what what the fuck did you do for Halloween? You didn't even tell me what you did. Like yeah. the day of you Halloween? Just, you just went bonfire and then just fucking... Like the day of shit. Halloween? Yeah. I didn't do anything. What the fuck am I supposed to do on Halloween on a Sunday? Yeah, that's true. And you got a new job. I figured you actually wouldn't give a fuck about that, to be honest with you. I figured you'd just get fucking wild with it regardless. No, I just yeah. drank some beers and went over to my friends and watched the World Series game. You dress up for Halloween? No. You didn't? You didn't dress up Saturday? No. I'm disappointed in you, dude. I figured you were going to go hard for Halloween. There's like nothing going on. Like, I don't know. I just wasn't... Fuck, I don't know. I guess I just lost it. I guess I just lost it. Like, I wanted to. What does to? that even mean? Like, I wanted to. Like I feel I, that, though. Like, I really wanted to, but, like, dude, like I said, bro, I just wasn't fucking feeling right, like, the last week. I just wasn't fucking... I just lost my motivation and drive to, like, party. So I was just like, fuck it. That's not a bad thing, though. That's not a bad thing, though. No, it's not. This this Halloween was the greatest fucking Halloween that I've ever had in my so entire curious. life. And we didn't do shit, obviously. What? We we you know, I didn't dress up, Brooke didn't dress up, but Pax dressed up. Would what'd she dress up as? Fucking killed the streets, dude. She went as a little lamb. Oh my god. Come on, dude. That is too uh, much. Paxton's already the cutest thing anywhere she goes. Yeah. It doesn't matter. She shuts fucking places down. Oh fuck yeah. And she shut down the fucking streets, dude. Jesus. There wasn't a person that didn't stop. Like she was the cutest thing in the world because she is. But it was her first trick. Or, it was her first Halloween or second Halloween technically, but her first Halloween that she'd go trick or treating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she would run up to the houses, grabbing candy out, and she's a little sweetheart. So she's only taking one piece. Everybody's obviously like, "You're the cutest thing in the world." Take four pieces. Take, take the whole, whole bucket. Bowl. And, uh, no, it was cool though. As a parent, I, we were obviously way more excited than she was, you know? Yeah. Where's the candy at? Uh, we gave it away. She's not allowed to have candy, but uh, we, we what? did, we did give her a piece. We gave her a piece. She just, we don't, but yeah, fucking yeah. I know. Lame as fuck, dude. <laughs> I felt bad about it. To you be didn't honest. save it for me and BMO. I, I like, was like, I was like, uh, shittiest I, father of the year <laughs> goes to, <laughs> I, I think there might be a few pieces still inside or something. Brooks fat ass probably saved a few pieces. I'm sure. <laughs> no, but, uh, no, I kind of felt bad about it though. Cause I was like, damn, she worked hella hard to do this. Oh, you know, geez. she took her chair for like a whole hour. She was done afterwards. Fucking oh, tired of shit. Yeah. Oh, for sure. But yeah, I was like, what the fuck am I going to do? Give give my two-year-old a ton of candy? What the fuck? <laughs> but but on, we made sure to bring some gummy for fruit snacks with us because we knew she was going to want some candy. And we're like, oh, yeah, here's some candy. And we gave her some fruit snacks instead. Oh, the slide. That's hand. how you fucking do it, dog. So then you're not giving her chocolate at fucking six o'clock at night, dude. 
I'm not a psychopath. I understand though, like not feeding your kids hella sugar. Right, right, yeah. right, right, right. I right. respect it, but I also don't. Right, they're, they're like you know, on a Friday or something, we get a little loose with it. I give her a whole <laughs> cup of juice or something. You know? <laughs> we get a little loose with it on a Friday. <laughs> Brooklyn, like, what the fuck are you doing? Getting loose with it. <laughs> She's not even crazy with sugar because she she doesn't get it. So yeah. like, but you know, I I don't I know. Say, yeah. I don't know. It's more of a joke than anything. You guys ready to get some fucking questions or what? We got a few submissions from listeners. We got first submission of the night. Oh, let's do it. Bimo, go ahead and read that out for us because I can't see it. Please. This says, may I ask a question? No. I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, that's it. <laughs> what do you guys think about not really breaking up, but dating someone and telling them you don't see a future with them and saying it in text instead of person? There's just some. There's multiple parts to this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So what? I mean, no, it's not really like multiple parts. So you're dating somebody and you send them a text saying we're together, but it's not going to last. Bro, I don't. Like, I don't know. That's not really. I don't, what I don't are see you, a future. My roommate. I don't see a future with you, Trev. I don't see <laughs> a future with you. I don't think. Okay, so in my head, in my head, obviously, like. You don't really want to be with this person because you don't see it lasting, but you're with them because you probably don't want to hurt them. Or maybe it's one of your first long-term relationships, or maybe you enjoy the sex or whatever, you know? Right, yeah, yeah. Comfort comfortability or something like but, that. But ultimately, it's like... It's one of those situations where everybody, it's like you're, everybody wants to have the feeling of having somebody. Okay, yeah. But at the same time, you don't really actually fucking want to be with this type of person or this person in particular, whoever this is. Yeah. But yeah, we've all been there. I mean, a hundred times. Yeah. 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 We just don't tell them. See, in my, in my head, I'm like, well, until it's over. Well, fuck. Like as an adult, like as soon as you recognize that you got to get the fuck out right away. Yeah. I, I think, mean, you right? either leave or just let them know like, Hey, this isn't for me. Right. You don't ever like say like, Hey, yeah, we don't have a future, but Let's still right. Let's continue. Date. Let's yeah. pointlessly continue this unless or, it's legitimately for the sex. Or yeah, and then I mean, it, they they could be open to that as well. Or just good friendship. I don't know. Yeah, probably not. No one wants to go to the movies by themselves. Nobody wants to. Yeah, fucking... but nobody wants to have feelings for somebody and they get told we're just friends. Yep. Nope. No. So, no. You, know, you can go to the movies by your fucking self. Nobody wants to be like, damn, I want to smash that shit. I want to crack that wide open, but we're just friends. So I'm yeah. just going to chill. But you also don't even ever tell anybody this type of situation. Cause if you take the time to even actually date or like, uh, I don't really know the word for it, but like not waste your time, but like spend your time with somebody. Yeah. Investing your time. Yeah. If you're investing your time in somebody that you don't see a future in, maybe not now, but maybe eventually you'll actually start to like this person will grow on you and maybe you'll actually eventually start to like them. So saying that to somebody is actually kind of a fucking bad move. You think so? Regardless if you think it now. Yeah. Yeah. If you think it now, you might not think it in like two and a half months, like let it work out just in like depending on, the situation. That's actually a really good point because yeah. I've, I've definitely been in relationships like that for, for sure. sure. To where I'm like, definitely, like yeah, I, I I fuck with you and love the sex and I think you're a cool chick. I physically cannot picture us having anything more than this, but but we ended up having something more than that. So that's actually a really good point. Have you been in that kind of situation, or do you know right away? No, like I've actually hung out with somebody before, to where like I've been. Like basically like hooking up at the bar, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and then okay. they like hit me back up to like hang out or whatever. We hung out a couple of times or whatever, yada, yada. Not really anything serious. Just hanging out like after work late at night, sex and go home. Okay. But you're, you have, you've never been in a situation where you're dating somebody like... But we weren't dating, but we were basically like... We got to the point where it was like we're talking for like a month and doing this almost okay. like on a yeah. daily basis yeah. to where it was like... Uh, you might as well have been dating. Yeah, but I was... But, I personally was like, there's no way I could actually commit to this person just based on like their lifestyle and Got it. the way that they were living. But at the same time, I was like, maybe a few months down the road, this person will fucking clean up their act and maybe we could actually fucking figure some shit out. That's a good so point. So I wasn't going to say that to them. I was just going to let it play out. That's a good point. Yeah. And it played out in exactly the way that I thought it was going now, to. Now, if you, if this, listen, I sent this in, if this is fucking more than just not like, like if you're like, yeah, not only can I not see us having a future together, but also 
I, I don't have feelings for, or maybe he's not the ideal fucking boyfriend that I want. Or yeah. if there's more to this, then like, yeah, I probably don't stick around. But yeah, if it's just like, yeah, I can't picture us having a future. Maybe he's not the type of guy I planned on having in my future. I don't know. Maybe write it out like you're saying. Not a bad move. Mm. Let's I mean, go to the next it, one, Trev. It, it'll work or it won't, you know? It'll you literally just got to find out. It'll work or it won't. Yeah. I mean, if you if you got time to waste or you got feelings that aren't going to get hurt, you might as well write it out. <laughs> right? I mean, there's a little bit to that. Because there is a little bit to that. Because, like, you're fucking right, dude. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you an example right now. I'm going to give you an example. I've never told anybody this. Um... We get in the deets. So when me and Brooke first got together, we were I together. <laughs> we, I, I was, I was, <laughs> and on an in between with deciding of whether or not I wanted dick or no, like no, no. dick or prefer dick. So we yeah. would sleep around Ooh. with other dudes and shit. All right. All right, but for reals, let's let's, <laughs> we, let's do it. Um, so when we first got together, it was specifically for sex. You guys know this shit. And like a few months in, I was like. I don't, I don't know how far this is going to go. I have feelings for her and I fuck with her heavy, but like, I don't know how far this is going to go. Yeah. Eight years later now. It's so like, you are right about that shit. Yeah. You really are, dude. Definitely. That's a good, that's a great fucking point. It could turn into something way more than you ever fucking thought it, that it would ever turn into. Or it really could because it, somebody that you see and think you know right now could completely not even be that person yep. just because you're not giving them the chance to actually show you who they really are, which is really like, uh, that's why I said, I said it's always, you always need at least like two years to actually know somebody. Like, yeah, I think it takes a while to actually really know somebody. Okay. Okay. I think I, that kind of plays into it. That's where I was kind of like looking at like, uh, when, when we had talked about that, that's what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. That makes sense like that for sure. Yeah, that definitely. does make a little more sense like that giving somebody the chance to become who you want them to be. Maybe they don't even know that you have. So, so should she talk to him then? Should she be like, Hey, like this kind of, I'm feeling and this is the reason why I'm feeling this. If you, you, but she's talking like, or she, or he, yeah, she, I guess is. So she's already saying that they're dating. Yeah. I mean, if you're already dating, if you've already committed yourself to somebody like that, mm -hmm. it, there's got to be something there exactly. initially that you liked. It's like, why not? I, I would not fucking be like, yeah, hey, I don't see a future with you. I would at least like give it a little bit to see, or at least tell them like, this is what the fuck I don't like. And this is why I don't see anything going on with yeah, this. Yeah. That's, that's what I was asking. Then see where it goes. Not just, yeah, I don't see a future with us. Like right. what the fuck? Then, all right. Well then why would you, you might as well just say it's over. You, you've already given them a shot. So at least like, Hey, sit down, have a mature conversation. Like, Hey, this is, this is how I'm feeling. This is the things I don't, this is the reasoning why. Yeah. What can we do about this? Mm -hmm. What can I do about this? What can you do about this? I mean, if it's just for the sex, I mean, if you want to be like uh, friends with benefits or whatever. No strings attached kind of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't think a whole lot of guys are going to be upset about it. Realistically. You Unless he has feelings and don't keep fucking him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> Because if he has feelings and you keep fucking him, he's going to be a fucking sad, depressed, fucking weird dude. I promise you that. Well, that's you what I kind of... be careful when you transfer that energy. That's yeah. that's what I was saying in the beginning was like, well, when, when I messaged back to her, I was like, that shit's a little dangerous because heartbreak fucking sucks and yeah. breakups fucking suck. So if this that's what you're going to do, make sure you do it maturely in person, like fucking, you know, yeah. make sure you have this conversation in person over text probably a terrible idea for sure like that this is a very mature kind of deal handle it maturely because that shit fucking blows let's move on to the next fucking listener send in trev this one's wild this shit is fucking crazy this just wild this is crazy dude all right so first, first of all why wasn't this happening here <laughs> so a california mom 47 years old, accused of hosting wild sex parties for 15-year-old son, had a dozen teens in her home when she... You're fucking arrested. me, Trev. Hold on, I'm sorry. Okay. When she was arrested, social services takes her kids away for being in imminent danger as she faces 39 charges. Imminent danger? So, this woman was... If I if I understand this correctly, if I understand the story correctly, this woman was 
supplying alcohol, throwing parties at her ginormous fucking mansion of a house. And now somebody, somebody sent us this. Yeah. It was like a, Hey, what the fuck do you guys think about this kind of deal? Oh, okay. That's like you said to go on to the next listener question. I was like, what the hell Oh yeah. Just, a just reaction. Question? We've never, we've never actually got a reaction before, dude. I, that's why I was like, okay, let me include uh, this shit yeah. in the beginning of the episode. I like this kind of shit. Like send us shit to react to. This is dope as fuck. I had no idea. As like, yeah, what? Like she's a mom of two, so she got her two kids taken away. Of, of two teenagers, but, though, because she was throwing parties for her teenagers, and they're 15 years old, yeah. 15, 16, you know what? Oh, it was in Idaho. It, well, it was in it was in California first. Oh, shit. Never and mind. then and then they went to Idaho to a, a to a second house they own, another giant fucking house, and did the same fucking shit there, dude. Throwing parties and Apparently, sex parties is what they were called. Do they weren't sex parties? Let's be real. Let's be real, dude. You know what? The, you know what we call this lady? A hero. We call her a cool mom. Yeah. We call her a cool mom. Yeah. Right. I mean, like, <laughs> am I wrong? You dude? can't. You can't send a dude this our article and expect me to be like this fucking bitch. How dare what you? What a piece of shit. If I was fifteen and my mom was fucking providing sex to me, I'd be no. Wait, wait. No, no. Pause. <laughs> Pause. Ooh. Pause. <laughs> nope. Nope. Even if my pause. mom was providing sex to me, pause. I'm still fucking with it. If dude. I was 15 and my mom was, uh, yeah, providing these, uh, I'll providing alcohol and fueled parties, facilitating, yeah. facilitating parties. sex parties for me to participate in, I would, I would not be like, fuck this bitch. You know what I mean? Like, fuck no, dude. She's, I would be okay with here it. Buying vodka, fireball, whiskey for the parties. She's been handing out condoms as minors, encouraging them to have sex and even watching them while laughing with teenagers. All right, bro. She watching and that shit is weird as fuck. But if she just like threw us a party but, and let us do what we want to do, that's dope. But I think she was only watching the kids as her, her, her children's friends. That's kind of, that. I mean, if, if she had to watch, that was the best scenario. At least she's not watching her son. I mean, it's still weird. Right? She had two sons. They were both sons. The sons were fucking? No, 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 no. Okay. The two kids, they were both boys. Okay, 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 okay. So a daughter was not involved in this. No. It was just two sons, yeah. two boys. So she, when deputies arrived at her house, she was forcing was them to have sex. There. No, no, no. She was ha forcing them to have non-consensual sex. And, and she was sitting there laughing, watching it happen. That's the biggest load of fucking bullshit I've ever heard in my life, dude. I mean, this bitch is weird as fuck. I mean, She's let's, weird. Let, let's, let, let's weird. not get it yeah, twisted. This bitch weird. is weird as shit, but as a 15 year old male human being, like you got to think like, That'd be a dope ass mom. Oh, dude, this is well, the cool actually, mom, dude. Whoa, 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 pause. You call, you're calling that mom? No, she's, she's kinda, fine as fuck. She's kind of scary, but <laughs> no, 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 no. Give that's a bad picture. Give us a better picture, Trev. She's the, she's fine as fuck. I guarantee. Uh, I guarantee she has big ass fake titties. It's and shit. just like it, it's such a weird like thing though, because that regardless of who's coming to the parties, it's like you're coming to the parties for fucking a certain reason. You know what I mean? Right, and it's probably, I'm sure a lot of his friend, a lot of the son's friends were like, maybe I can smash them off. I guarantee some of them did smash them off. Oh, definitely. For dude, sure. Some dude. of the best parties that I went to when I was that age were literally parties that the parents were there and, are, yes. and, and they were actually okay with it because we had yes. everything that we needed. There was exactly. no like, there was no like, let's find a buyer, let's buy some cheap beer, nope. da, 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 da. No, it was like always like, uh, mm -hmm. we're fucking rich, we live out in the bum fuck Egypt, yep. come over. And we're like, apparently my kids having a fat ass party. Right. And we show up and it'd be a nice ass house. Yep. Uh, the parents just kind of went to fucking bed and we just did our fucking thing. Or they partied with us, dude. Or they partied with I us. There were so yeah. many of those. Dude, we appreciated that as, as like teenagers. Yeah. Because not only did you not have to worry about the parents coming safe. home or like where we're going to party. It was completely safe. Parents knew what was going on. They were supplying it. Everybody was having a great fucking time. Yeah. Basically, like, yeah, like pass the fuck out wherever. Pass the fuck out wherever. Yeah. <laughs> like, we, you don't got to worry about being uh, out of the fucking house in the morning exactly. or like scared about parents coming home because we're here. Exactly. Dude, it was literally a godsend for us as teenagers and it showed us how to fucking party. It showed us how much liquor we can actually drink. Well, it's almost like more like, or less like if you're going to fucking do it, you might as well just do it here because, exactly. like, if you do it somewhere else, you have the chance of fucking DUIs. Right. 
uh, or being just busted. being fucking raped. <laughs> yeah, for fuck's being sake. fucking like, being being like in a shitty situation. Yeah, driving home drunk, being fucking caught up in the with the wrong people. Yep. yep. Like we're supervising who's here, who's not here. You guys have a place to stay. Da 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 da. What, what? It's like I'm condoning, like, yeah. and that's the thing. I don't want to sound like I would allow this, like my daughter to do this at my house. Fuck no. <laughs> yeah, I would not. <laughs> fuck it. I wouldn't do this for. I would not do this for I'm my kids. The, I'm not the cool dad. I'm sorry. I'm not. Yeah, yeah. But we've all known people like this, man. Yeah. We all like, have. No, no. I'll be the cool dad. Like, I don't like. I don't know. I think I'll let my, I'll let my kid fuck off, but, but I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to let him do it under my supervision because I'm not going to be held responsible for his bullshit. If he wants to bullshit right, around, right, right. you know what I mean? Right. So, but I'll let him go bullshit around. Boom. I'm not going to, I'm not going to be like, and I'm not going to be, uh, 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 like supervising other people's right, kids right. doing it. it gets Those a parents little dangerous. fucking are taking a risk. Oh, oh huge yeah. risk. Giant risk. Dude. Yeah. Now, Giant that I'm, risk. now that I'm the age that I am like thinking that like, damn, Basically, some of these parents could have been like my fucking age almost yeah. watching us. I'm like, yeah, no. Because like <laughs> one of the biggest benefits of that, I think, is you have somebody there to make sure that you're not going to overdose or, or fucking get alcohol poisoning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have somebody responsible, a responsible, mature adult. I, I don't I don't know if she's that mature. I don't know if she wants to is just there to fuck you. I don't know the deal, but she has experience with drugs and alcohol. She's going to make sure you're okay, dude. How it's you, yeah, it's it's crazy because it's like how do you like it, it's almost like uh, it's such a gray area for that because it's it really like it, it's a good thing that they're there and they're letting it happen, but it's also a yeah, really fucking bad thing yep. that they're letting it happen. It also like shouldn't be happening, but it like but more or less it's going to happen elsewhere, but they're right. letting it happen and supervising. And Which I isn't really like a bad thing, but also it's kind of fucked. It, it also is kind of fucked because it's like clearly against the law. Yeah. But it's like, man, I don't I don't know. It, one thing I did I don't I never, like about this. Fuck, I never even thought about it, dude. One thing I don't like about this is how they are like picturing her to be like the, she they're picturing her to be like this fucking creep ass lady that was drugging children in her in her fucking sex dungeon in malibu like that's not at all the case and i guarantee thousands and thousands and thousands of other moms in that same neighborhood are like fuck i do this for my kids all the time yeah i do this for my kids all the fucking time fuck we can't do this anymore but i mean if you're at the age of 15 and uh a random ass mom is forcing you into sex. It's like, come on, bro. That would never happen. Come the fuck on. The only time that would ever happen is if she's forcing you into sex with her. In that case, you're pumped about that. dude. Yeah. If I was 15 and a mom was like trying to force me to have sex with somebody, like a, if I didn't even want to, you know what I mean? Like at 15, dude, I was just ignorant as fuck. I would have slapped this bitch in her fucking dude, mouth if dude, she tried to fucking talk to me <laughs> sideways. Dude, you know what I mean? It's like, come on. What the fuck, dude? That's come insane, on, to even. Bro. That's yeah, insane how they painted this picture, dude. It's not at all how this happened. It's fuck, not at all how man. this happened, dude. It's like, fuck, I don't know. It's it's okay. So the biggest part of this is it's weird that she would like watch him have sex or I don't even know if that really happened. You know what I mean? Like, no, yeah. Who to say, <laughs> yeah, to say that that actually even happened? I have no idea. Like they painted so many other nonsense pictures. Who's to fucking really say that even happened? You know, I don't know. Yo, shout out to the moms and dads though that like let us fucking come to their houses shout and the parties fuck out, and shit. Dude. Like, you pretty much just took care of us when we were fucked up. I know. Shout the fuck out. Like there's been, there's been you know you're just sitting there chilling drinking beer and then all of a sudden like they come out of the room or something you're like oh fuck and then they're like calm down calm down. Just getting a beer. No, kind of, sort of. Not even I, like that. Like I've dude, been at party, like straight up big ass, huge fucking parties in the big ass mansions. Like hundred yeah, percent, dude. Was, like schools that I didn't even go to. These are like the big Reading schools mm -hmm. with their fucking rich ass families. Right, right. I've never even fucking I've seen these houses in Reading until I went to them. And I'm like, <laughs> holy shit! I'm like, what the fuck? And the parents are there, literally like throwing the fucking party. And I'm like, what the fuck? Hundred percent, dude. <laughs> And dude, I, one of the nights that I had one of the worst blackouts I ever experienced, I was in my freshman year. I was puking up blood. I was completely blacked out. I was puking up blood on my back. And like, you're puking up blood on your back, dude. And what? Like, this was no fucking joke. I absolutely no joke. And how I know this was because the bowl was still there in the fucking morning uh, on the couch, like by the couch. And one of the parents that were there fucking turned me over. 
and fucking like stayed with me, you know, made sure I was okay until I passed out. Oh, you're laying on your back. Yeah, 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 yeah. I had passed out, fucking blacked out. I don't remember any of this. It's like, how are you throwing up on your back? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and they fucking turned me over, sat with me, make sure I was good, fucking yeah. like kind of clean me up, put a bowl underneath me where I puke more, hung me off the couch and shit. Literally saved my fucking life, dude. I ought to put your ass outside. <laughs> dude. <laughs> But like this shit is real. This shit happens every fucking day, dude. Well, yeah, because they couldn't let you die because then that would have been well, on yeah, their hands, of bro. Course, of course, of course. <laughs> but like, man, I don't know. I don't know, dude. Look at her, dude. You know she got fucking wild back in her day. That's dude, why she's she just got like, wild fuck today, it. dude. Yeah, that's why she's just like, you know what? Fuck it. Fuck these kids. You, you know for sure by looking at her by how much plastic surgery is on her face yeah. that she has giant fake tits. You can guarantee it. I don't know. She kind of fucking. Just, what you can guarantee it. How did she hide this from her husband? Because she hid all this from her husband. Husband has no idea. Absolutely lie. hundred percent like, lie. What? Unless, unless the husband worked out of town. If the husband worked out of town, easy, see. easy, easy. Trevor, the word is idea, dude. Hmm? Idea. What did you say? I. I What'd you say, Trev? Right over my head. Idea. You said he has no ideal. Him, oh, him nice. No idea. Nice. Let's grill him on it. Sure, I'm grilling you right now, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. But I look for things to grill Trevor on now. He has no ideal. <laughs> Trevor, there's no L in fucking idea. <laughs> ideal is a real word. <laughs> Using properly in uh, this context. Uh, That's okay, Trev. You'll get it when you're 60. Yeah. No, I really will. <laughs> <gasps> Another year of texting you and I'll have it down. What do you think about reading books? What do you think about that? What I, do you think about reading? I hate them. What do you think? Oh, that's bad. You should like them. They'll be your best friend. Um, what do you think about coming over and we have a book session? Let's start a book club. Can we not? The Austin and Trev book club. God damn it. We'll I start hate you right now. We'll Bebo. start a YouTube channel sitting around you book club. You this. I was actually given a book the other day and I don't know what I did with it, but I actually wanted to read it. You should. But I don't know what I did with it. You should. You'll watch your IQ fucking I increase by 30 points. I don't what I did with the book. I'll give you a book. So if you keep saying, hey, you should, motherfucker, I can't because I, I don't know you. where the fuck it's at. I got a book for you. How about that? What book? Uh, let's see. Fuck no. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like a book that I was actually interested in. Oh, well, I'll give you a book that you're interested in, dude. I can recommend some books for you as well. Everybody should read books. No. Is what I'm saying. No, they probably should. Everybody should read books. It'll Maybe. increase your fucking IQ. 20 minutes a day. 20 read, minutes a read, day. Read for 30 20 minutes. minutes a day. 15 minutes a day, dude. Read the Bible, dude. I'm reading right now. Oh, Jesus Christ. Read the Bible, Trevor. Trev reads. Trevor, I'll tell you how Trevor reads right now. Trev reads through the lines, skips over the words he doesn't know, skips down the lines. <laughs> God damn it. I'm fucking caught. Did I call you out or yeah. what? <laughs> My little brother leaves like, reads like that, like, Trev. I don't know what that word is, but now it's just networks. <laughs> That's okay, dude. I'll tutor you. How about that? I can't read either. <laughs> All right, Trev, moving on from this fucking let's dumb broad. Uh, yeah, let's do it. I mean, good on her, but fuck her, dude. Yeah, I mean, she kind of got what she deserves. Unfortunately, that's the, this is the risk you take. Like, I'm fortunate it that sucks, I've, though. yeah, yeah. Like, I'm fortunate that I was that 15 year old kid at some point, but at the same time, I'm not taking that risk in my, uh, in my parenting days, to be honest. So, I wasn't going to say this. I wasn't going to say this, but I'll fucking say it. I'll just say it. Statue of limitations is up. So, what was this, Oh, yeah. We, all the parties, you know, she supplied everything. Yeah. Always at our house. And that's when she did get caught. And luckily we got out of it and cops are cool. And, you know, it was, it worked out in our favor. But yeah, it was this mom. So I sympathize with this woman a lot, a lot, a lot. Anyways, moving on. All right. First question of the goddamn night. Do pickup lines actually ever work? <sighs> It's funny that this is a question. I didn't I didn't get to look at any of the questions. 62% said yes. 38% said no. They definitely get the girl to look at the message and leave you on red. Ooh, AKA okay. Trev's Tinder. Trev's Tinder, okay. So pickup lines don't work in your case. Bima, what do you think about this? Um, Pull the mic closer to your face. Um... I don't know, like, yeah, 
and no. Yeah, no. I mean, it's fucking like, it's such a broad spectrum of things. I think that if you have some like type of clever shit to like grab somebody's attention, like they grab, like I think a good pickup line could, could get a reply. Could definitely get a reply, but like, does it secure the bag? Maybe not. I think it's a lot to come with if you were smooth enough after the pickup line. Okay. But a good pickup line could definitely get the reply. It's what comes after it that is actually significant, so right? So the pickup line is your entry point to yeah, the yeah. pussy. So 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 in that in that aspect, yes, they do work. Because if it's intriguing enough, then yes. But at the same time, no, they don't work because 90% of the time I feel like they're fucking repetitive as fuck. Or just corny as or shit. Or corny as shit. Which can corny pickup lines sometimes work because yeah, like, yeah, yeah. If it's if it's new, okay. I feel like the same shit that somebody because I don't get pickup lines fucking thrown at me, obviously. But like, am I throwing them out there? No. So I heard a good pickup line actually. If you're DMing, mm-hmm. because obviously pickup lines typically are in person these days a lot. Obviously they're in DMs as well. But wedding ring emoji. Do you want it now or later? Yeah, I saw that. Is that good or bad? See, I don't know. I mean, that seems a little fucking aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I don't know. It can't. It could be mistaken as that for sure. No, you gotta. But it. But nobody's looking at it as like, oh, yeah, that's aggressive. Yeah. It's more of like, haha. Exactly. You know what exactly. I mean? It is. It is a little like, what the fuck are you yeah, talking about? Yeah, it's your like. It's the way that people perceive things. Mm-hmm. For sure. Also the kind of person you are as well. Definitely. Now, if you are a 50-year-old dude <laughs> sending a wedding ring to a fucking 20-year-old chick, yeah. it's about, hey, uh, what are you fucking doing? Yeah. You fucking creep. What's, you're what's the, older I, than my I, father. I, it, this was like a 60 to 40 or what was it? Yeah, something like something that. Something like yeah. that. I don't know. I, I say it's 50-50. It's 50-50 because like this person said, it, it just depends on the fucking person. You know what I mean? It just depends on like your sense of humor. Yeah, yeah. Depends on like your mentality. It depends on more or less like, uh, I don't know the word for it, but like how well you're able to deal with like sarcastic shit. True. Or like bullshit. True. If you're open to like fucking with that for a minute or like talking to this person like sarcastically and then see where it leads, then it's probably a hundred percent chance that you're going to get a reply with that person. But if they have no patience for like bullshit or like comedy or sarcasm, then you're taking a fat fucking L. Probably not the chick you want to be with anyways. Probably not the chick you want to fuck at yeah. All. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, for me, yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, for you, that would yeah, never work. Yeah, no, it never work, bro. I fucking, I can't even now, remotely. Now, do pickup lines work in person? How nah. much different are pickup lines in person than they are in the DMs? More effective. More effective. More effective. Oh shit! Really? Oh, absolutely. Now, is that simply because, like, because you're putting the... you're putting somebody on the spot? Dude. Oh, right. Yeah. And like you're forcing them to give you a reply or a laugh or like a fuck you or anything. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Pickle lines on the spot are way more effective. So is that basically what pickle lines are for then? Is like to break the ice to fucking like, hey, I'm fucking here. Like, yeah, like what's up? So yeah, yeah, kind of. Now that you say it like that, yeah, because like DMing somebody like a corny pickup line or like some goofy shit like as a pickup line, and then them actually replying, and you're not even like that type of sense of humor or like that type of person. Oh, how do you actually carry a conversation yeah, out with yeah. that same type of bullshit? You know what I mean? So then you just go like, Oh fuck. And then you just like get awkward. That's a fucking really good point. So if you're not that type of person that can, yeah. like you're saying, continue with that sarcasm or like funny, yeah. or whatever you kind of fucked yourself. Kind of. You kind <laughs> yeah. of you kind of made but it more you, difficult for yourself yeah, now. But if you fucking hit him up in person with that type of shit and you're like, mm. kind of like how I am, how you could just like bullshit your way through right. whatever. Right. Then it's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then now you're engaging in a conversation and then you can start asking the serious questions like, what's your name? Da, and da, da, chances are, shit. yeah, yeah. if you're that type of person to even approach them with the pickup line, yeah. you're going to be able to have enough game to continue that conversation yeah. Yeah. unlike yeah. Oh, online, you know, yeah. anybody could do that. That's so like everybody hides behind fucking computer screens of course. and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. But I don't know. Oh, sure. that's a really good fucking point, dude. That's a really good point. So 
that's basically what we were saying as far as like what the fucking response the replies that we got to the, this fucking story yeah, the, was yeah. the first response was exactly what BMO just said yeah. Yeah. Really? I say no but I think it all depends on the person though because for some people they think it's cliche uh, and not worth it but for other people they appreciate it kind of sort of yeah and then, okay yeah okay so just simply like we were saying just like acknowledging you taking the time to be thoughtful enough to go out of your way be like hey what the fuck's up thinking of a clever pickup line yeah. or what the fuck ever you know mm -hmm. that, that's yeah that's cool the other one was yeah it is the thoughtfulness but also for the person that is receiving the line it might be something new for them because maybe they don't get hit on so they find it really sweet and nice because it doesn't happen at all for them so honestly it can make their day maybe for people that get hit on all the time it's more of just a thanks and they move on that makes sense that's actually very true yeah that makes sense because if it's a fucking baddie you know yeah but uh, yeah it makes sense but like but she's saying like oh maybe it's just like a thanks you know what i mean but like a thanks is more or less like a just like a simple compliment that they probably get more often than not rather than like a pickup line because a pickup line you you don't really say thanks to a pickup line or thanks is a fuck off yeah or thanks is a is a fuck yeah, off. yeah yeah but like uh it, I don't know. A simple compliment actually could fucking go a long way as well, rather than Very a true. line. But like, like a simple for reals though. Yeah, yeah. But like a compliment is actually probably more or less like the people that comp get complimented all the time, and they have fucking hundreds of people right. to skim through. Is like the thanks is like whatever. Your eyes are beautiful. Yeah, you got yeah. a nice set of tits. Yeah, I want to split your pussy open. Yeah, yeah, yeah that kind of yeah. shit. Simple compliments. Yeah, easy shit. Trev, mm -hmm. try some of those. But <laughs> I was just gonna ask you, what is your guys's go to pickup line? Uh, I don't necessarily have. I've never really. I don't know if I. I can't, it's been so long to be honest. You with don't you. hit Brooke with a, a pickup line every now and then. Nah, no, oh, no. Come I, on, never. I. But I've also like so before I was in a relationship. I would never really use pickup lines, but I was, I was always like, would always use game for sure. <laughs> always use game. And like, that was like my only thing I could do. You know what I mean? Like yeah. being honest, I'm just being honest with you. I don't know. That's the only thing I knew how to do. Like, yeah. I didn't know anything See, else because I grew up, we grew up in that era. You yeah. had to have game. Like I don't, um, but yeah, same type of shit. Like I don't like, even when I, if I message random people that I don't even know or nothing, like I don't even send them pickup lines or whatever. It's literally just like, you just got to learn how to talk, bro. You just got to learn how to talk. That's, like it, it, that's it. it. It's as simple as that. Like, you really got to learn how to, like, talk to people. If you don't know how to talk to somebody, then, like, you are kind of fucking up. That's what that's what reading books is so good for, you know? You learn, <laughs> you learn how to fucking books. convey what you're feeling, dude. I'm serious. I'm fucking dead serious. Yeah. Books but, are great for that kind of shit. But, like, it's just, like, I don't really hit people with pickup lines or whatever because, like, I fucking... It's, it's not me. That's not how I am. I don't use pickup lines or whatever, but... I just kind of like, I just try to talk to him how I would re talk to him in person. Right, and yeah. I hate fucking DMing people. I hate DMing people and I hate fucking messaging people on social media. You hate texting. Uh, yeah, and I hate fucking general. texting, dude. I hate doing it because Whether it's me. I'm so different person to person because I can sit here and talk and I can sit here and make you laugh. I can, we could, I can sit here and be sarcastic. I right. could fucking, if you don't want me to be sarcastic, if you feel some type of way about it, I could be like the most genuine, caring like type of person right. ever. But it's just like where where we're at, you know what I mean? Yeah. But that's so hard to fucking talk like this or talk how I talk to people over a text or a DM. Oh. <laughs> so I, I basically you, just yeah. like don't even try because people fucking take it so different than the way that I'm saying it. Dude, you want to talk about the worst way to I communicate? Understand that. Yeah, dude, texting yeah. DM, dude, it's the worst way to communicate that's right. ever been invented. It's, it's it's stupid. You don't even know my facial expression or what yeah, I mean yeah. by this shit. You don't have any idea. Said it like seven episodes ago, dude. I said you can't send emotion through a text message. Facts. You literally can't. I mean, Facts. I can send you an emoji to like make you understand sort of right. how I'm explaining right. it, but like that shit is lame as fuck. I could be upset at you and put LOL after the end of it. You have no idea. You have no idea. <laughs> If I'm upset or if I'm joking. Yeah, you, you no stupid idea. bitch, LOL. It's Literally. Like, am I, like, I'm actually calling you a stupid bitch, but I don't want you to get offended. But I'm so I'm saying LOL. Dude. <laughs> yeah. For real. That's no fucking joke, dude. Yeah, right, you literally, it's the worst way to communicate. Can't send emotion through a text message. Now, what you can do is send those fucking titties through a text mm. message. I mean, you can. You can do send that. Nudes. Or you can just pull up. Or you can pull up and I can sling out this rod. Yeah. You know what you can't send through a text message? My fucking dick <laughs> feeling 
some shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? So just pull up. Fuck just a text. Pull up. Fuck a text. Fuck a DM. Pull up. Pull up right yeah. now to the studio. Pull up. Yeah, show up. I ain't got time for no fucking shit. <laughs> People, you're going against what I said. I told him to hit your DMs, dog. I ain't got time for this. Still hit BML's DMs. Still hit his DMs. DMs. But if you're gonna hit his DMs, Trevor, make sure you f- send those titty pics. That wasn't even for this question. All right, whatever. Let's move on. What Anyways, that one? Yeah, yeah, let's move on to the question. Yeah, Let me uh, read the question, my guy. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. That was that was for that one. This is not for the fucking yeah, the one we were was. just on. Yeah, the DM one. The p the no 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 it's the pickup the line fucking one. Pickup line one. Oh. My last relationship of four years, he told me I had a nice smile and wanted to lick my teeth, so I told him I wanted to kiss him where he peed. That's just wild. Dude, that could go... Like, if you tell a girl you want to lick their teeth, like that could go very badly or work well like for this fucking person or whatever. I want to kiss him where he peed. Yeah, I want to suck his dick. Wait, no, I understand. no kiss <laughs> where he peed. Isn't that like where he's... Wait, I'm confused. Kiss him. Uh, I'm, sh- I'm sure she probably meant peas. Yeah, I she meant, she's probably, I think she meant kiss him where he pees, not where he pees. Right, right. Like, hey, I want to kiss the floor that you pee on. I want to kiss him. No, you want to kiss him where he pees. Like, you want to kiss me in fucking Austin's backyard? Because I pee yeah, here like every, the fuck, fucking, dude? every night. Head out to the fucking backyard. Yeah, fucking A. All right. LOL. Oh, fuck. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Is that me, dude? <laughs> fucking rug. I got to piss a little bit. All right. Oh. You want to take a break? It's right there. Almost at that. Right, you guys keep going. <laughs> Where are we at? 50. Oh, I got a piss too. This is a good spot to take a break. Are you okay with your man having a flashlight? 65% said yes. 35% said no. Whoa. Um, there, was a few, what? there was a few women that Did didn't know what a flashlight was. Oh. So I broke it down for him, you know. I should just send him a picture. You but. didn't want to say pocket pussy or what? Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I don't. I don't really know. I think I just wasn't feeling it, <laughs> to be honest with you. I usually try to keep the stories like clean, like pretty clean in how I phrase them. I don't know why I do, but I do. I, I have no idea why, to be honest with you. It's more or less just like easier to answer. Kind of. Yeah. And I, I rather than saying pocket pussies and nobody's gonna be like, all right, next. Right. Right. Exactly. I, I don't know. I just I always keep the stories kind of like clean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Professional. I don't know professional we're just talking about fucking sex online and for everybody to see <laughs> um i mean i wish we had a woman here to answer this but there were sure, that's wild I, I feel like they the nose would be a lot more because, yeah because 65 percent of 65 percent said yes they're cool with their man and a fucking pocket pussy having a fucking fleshlight fleshlight one of the reasons I didn't say pocket pussy as well, because a flashlight is a work of art, dude. That shit's way more than just a pocket pussy. Usually it's like molded after a porn star or an OnlyFans girl or whatever. You know, they sell their their flashlight, like they have a deal with them and whatnot, run promotion on that kind of shit. So you're like, oh, I fuck with that porn star. I fuck with this OnlyFans girl. I already give her all my money a check. I already a simp. And I already sent it for her, and now I'm gonna go buy her fucking flashlight. Yeah. See, I just I don't know. It's it's such a hard thing to say, like yes or no, because I'm a dude. But I'm gonna tell you right now, like as a dude, that that f- fucking flashlight is gonna take my mind <laughs> from doing weird shit. <laughs> or shit that you would probably be way more opposed to than instead of me just sitting in my room jerking off with that. You get what I'm saying? Because as soon as I'm done with that little fucking thing and throw it back in the closet, I'm back to reality like, what the fuck am I doing? Rather than out and about doing what the fuck ever I was thinking about doing. So, hey, if you guys can have vibrators and dildos, what the fuck are you so mad about? Why would you be upset about a pocket <laughs> pussy, true. right? That's it's the true. same thing as just jerking off. Literally, we jerk off. Rather, regardless if you know about it or don't know about it, we're jerking off. Who cares if we jerk off with silicone? Why? Why wouldn't you want us to be even? Wouldn't you want us to receive more pleasure out of jerking off? If we're gonna jerk off, shouldn't we receive more pleasure for it? My hand doesn't vibrate. <laughs> now, yeah, for real. I think what Bimo was saying though is like if she's on her period, he's like, I can't eat her out. 
He'll go eat the fucking pocket pussy out. No, that'll satisfy his needs. <laughs> that's, that's not even what I'm saying. That's what I was thinking. No, nah, I'm thinking like, bro, she ain't at home. That could be some good practice. You're drunk and horny. You know what I'm saying? Or just sober, whatever. So you're just thinking like, oh, I'm about to do some fucking off the wall shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about is to go out a, and cheat or do some off the wall good, shit. Is this a good anti-cheating device? Yes. Because it's more or less like I could just throw a little bit of lube on my cock and in and out of this bitch real quick, throw it back in my closet. I don't even got to leave my house. That's every so much more convenient. Every woman should support this. No, for sure. And, and it's, it's weird if you don't because what and you could participate in it as well like as like a foreplay type of thing hmm, as okay. well like it, if it, but it's you got to be sexually open you know what i mean like you got to be like she okay could eat, with she certain could eat shit it out and shit too <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 super <laughs> give me super hard oh uh, that's That'd not what i meant but yeah you wanted to we all bought threesomes so why not have a threesome with a fucking fleshlight you know what I mean? She's just down there getting Or like she it. could just like use it on you. you I mean, she don't got to fucking oh, I guess leave, if you want to be boring. Sure, yeah. Yeah. I was thinking more like... Austin just wants to see somebody eat it. My my girl, my girl... <laughs> so yeah, funny. her just holding a plastic tube with a yeah. pussy just staring at her. Just, <laughs> and, and she's just fucking... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that'd, that'd, that'd be, be hot as fuck, I'd dude. probably throw up. <laughs> that'd be hot as fuck. <laughs> I'm like, you don't know what I did to that thing. <laughs> just like, just eating it like fucking. They need to make them a little smaller so you can stick them up your ass and shit. They're way too big, dude. They're way too wide. Dude, they're as wide as Trev's cup over there, dude. Not saying I'm, I'm fucking. <laughs> Trev's diet. Not saying I'm opposed to fucking sticking Trev's cup on my ass, but it's just too big, dude. <laughs> no one's so far south. I was not prepared. Anyways, yeah, well, it's, it's hard to give our perspective, though, because we're dudes, you know what right, I'm saying? Right, but right, I'm giving the dude's perspective to the women's that said no, that this is why it would be okay for us to have them. And you got to be open about it. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, this in that one case, of responses, by the way. <laughs> okay. Apparently, this person had no idea what a fucking pocket pussy was because they sent four laughing emojis and said, oh, my God. Well, in that case, no, I'd be one upset girlfriend if I found saw knew my significant other was using such items what there, are you, were, there, there were a few women that responded like this actually. but like but like what, what i need like more of like a like a reaction to like why you would be upset like if he was like you walked in and incognito in about it then right. maybe you would be like a little weird out weirded out finding it or seeing him doing it incognito you know what i'm saying rather than you guys being open about it. I think, I think some women just don't like the idea of you using some fucking object to get off with rather than just your hand or them. Some women really hate that idea. Yeah. But what the fuck does the difference? I was like, uh, yeah, but what they like a vibrator for a woman, you know what I mean? Right. What, what if, what if the flashlight's just better? What if flashlight's just better than your girl? It probably is. It probably is. <laughs> probably is. <laughs> I mean, they, they manufacture those motherfuckers tight as shit. <laughs> Not just like <laughs> people's face, dude. <laughs> people's face, I dog over to the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, but for real, I mean, I don't know what the fuck they manufacture perfect penises for your fucking just like description of what you want. You know what I mean? True, so it's like dude. the exact same thing for us, but I still prefer. prefer like human interaction. <laughs> it's, it's just I still the fuck I still prefer to fuck a real pussy too. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. real but it's just like but when I but when it's not there, I would rather use that than go do some stupid ass For shit. Sure. That okay. I would regret now, if me, I was in a relationship. Let me ask you though, this this is really what it comes down to because I'm sure women are thinking the same thing. Are you are you is is the fleshlight fucking you or are you fucking the fleshlight? Oh, I'm fucking in for sure. Okay, so are you? How the fuck would it fuck are me? You standing up like fucking, like you're fucking the flashlight, or you have control or, in it? Or, therefore, no, you no, no, are no, no, doing no, no, it to no, yourself. No, 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 no. Or are you laying down and you're fucking? You got this big ass fucking cup, like Trev's cup, big ass cup, and you're in the flashlight's fucking you. Ah, uh, both. Both, just whatever you're feeling, right? Yeah, no, I think I think so too. I think just whatever I'm feeling, I might I might go old school with it, dog. I might go way old school with it. Stick it in the crack of the couch, 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, for real. Y'all remember how I told you I used to fuck the crack of the couch way back that in the day? Looking, uh, kind of just depends on like what kind of mood I'm in, you know? Right. Depends on how lazy I'm feeling. <laughs> right. Does that too? Yeah. Does that too? Dude, you could use it in the car. You could use it wherever the fuck you want, dude. Might ask my roommate to hold it for me, so I, uh, at least I eye contact with somebody. <laughs> and in your case, your roommate's <laughs> your brother. So, I'm like, hey, big bro, <laughs> get in here, dog. <laughs> fuck, dude. Uh, <laughs> You guys ever wanted to beat off in the car? That shit's messy as hell. Mm-hmm. You on a long road trip? Nah, I, I got I, bring I got old fleshy head, with you, it dude. Was just all over the carpet mats, and I was like, "Well, this fucking sucks." You came during Roadhead. What, two hours later, what are you gonna Ooh. do? Fucking do, what, like, come on! I've never, I've never came. It during was Roadhead. a fucking four hour drive. I've never, ever, ever came during Roadhead. Ever, ever, never, never. I couldn't. There's no fucking way. because. Oh, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. So the reasoning why I can't is because roughly probably 20 minutes in, I'm ready to fuck at that point. I'm done with head. I'm done with that. I don't, I don't like head for that long because I'm like, I'm ready to have sex. The only time I get head is before sex. So my brain is like head sex. So we pull off, we have sex. I can't, I can't get there. You know what I mean? I get what you're saying. I get, I, I get what you're saying. I totally agree. Yeah. But that's like, because, but it's regardless if you're going to like have sex or not, like even if she just wants to give you a head or like a hand job or whatever, dude, it's so hard to get off while you're driving. Cause you're not, not focused. even driving, not oh, even oh, driving, bro. Oh, it, I, could, head, I could not be driving, but just like getting head or anything. Oh, it's, it's impossible. Like, yeah. Well, it's impossible. Like, I feel bad for him. Like, are you almost done? Like, are you going to come? I'm like, <laughs> it's, it, I don't think so. <laughs> no, no. My thing is like, yep, yeah, I'm almost there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for real. Like, uh, <laughs> Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. trying. No, I'm more like this. I'm more like this. Yeah, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, if you keep stopping and asking, it's going to take longer. My whole, my, <laughs> my whole body has been flexed for like an hour, dude. Yeah, or, my muscles are locked up at this point, dude. <gasps> Fuck, yeah. It's hard. It's hard to get off with head. Unless she's just a champ. Unless she just knows what the fuck she's doing. Or oh, unless like... Unless, like Trev's saying, unless she's going for two hours. If you're going yeah, for two hours, yeah, I can yeah, get yeah. in two hours. And we were getting ready to go across the border, and it's like, fuck, we got to stop, and I don't really want this to stop, so let's just get it over with. Just fucking made it happen. Just now, made it happen. Now, why Pop, was she in the head. Why was she such an animal that she did not catch your load, and she just let it be wasted on the carpet? First off, that's disgusting. I don't know. You just came all over the fucking know. floorboard. Just thinking floorboard. about it. I don't, I don't know. And you're on a long trip. On top of it, so you know your shoes are off. So now you're over there. No, my shoes are stepping on. in the car. I, I don't take my shoes off when I'm in the vehicle. Not I, when you're driving. Nope, it's a weird habit of mine. How big is your dick? Did it go on the floorboard? You just let it unravel. Just it was boom. even bad with the steering wheel. Just fuck out. <laughs> was that a, was that a fucking cum <laughs> out? My yourself? dick is like at least like. A foot and a half from the fucking end of my seat to like even hit the floor. Yeah, but you're gonna shoot. You're gonna fucking can aim. <laughs> uh, I'm not a shooter, dude. You're what? Really? Yeah, mine just ooze out. Oh, this is something I didn't know about you. <laughs> no, it's just I thought everybody fucking. No, just okay, because some people, some people aren't legitimately aren't shooters, dude. Oh no, no, no. not a. Eh. I think like it depends on the situation, like how horny you are and how built up it is. Ooh, that's a good like point. that type of shit. Because yeah. like nobody's just yeah. nutting yards every time they nut. <laughs> yeah, that like no, if you're no, just bored really and you just like randomly get horny and yeah. go beat off, it's kind of just like Oh no, for sure, for sure. You're but if right, like you're something's right. going on, you're like fuck, and then it's just been like build up all day, yep. and then like you're finally like ah, oh, and then you fucking nut. <laughs> then it's like, on. or if you like kind of hold it for like a half a second, even yep. though it's still there. Yep. And then you're just like, yeah. ah. you hold the the tip of your head and you let that bitch no, go. I'm not holding the head. I don't know why you do that. <laughs> no, 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 you no, can no. just like hold back for a second without ah. pinching it off. Right, that's that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like you're yeah. whole. Like I remember specifically, I was literally coming fucking held the tip of my dick not to like stop it or anything like that it was just i just did let it go i i wish i could make this up and i know you're gonna think i'm bullshitting you it watched that bitch. to trev to trev to trev dude i believe it for listeners for listeners that's probably like i don't know seven eight feet away ten i got my my girl as a witness it was the fucking craziest shit it just 
happened to fucking work, dude. I don't know why. I don't know. I could never replicate it. I've tried. Believe me, I've tried to replicate it. It just worked. It was like a fucking slingshot, dude. It's crazy, dude. It's weird. It's like sometimes or sometimes it's like more like like more semen, less sperm. Yep. You know yep, what I mean? Yep, yeah, yeah, like like so a like little more thin than it is thick. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So when it's like more semen and less sperm, it actually like I swear it fucking goes farther. I think you're right. Yeah, no, for sure. Because not when as it's heavy. like more sperm and less semen. It's like nah, that shit just kind of like. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not as heavy. Yeah. Or you haven't came in like fucking a week, dude. You got those sick loads. I've dude. never done that. What? <laughs> really? I come every day. Oh. <laughs> Dude, I'll, I'll, there'll be some weeks I don't come for two weeks, dude. No That's shit. weird as fuck, dude. I, mean, I gotta rub one out every day. At least. Really? No oh, shit. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> oh, if I don't, yeah, I get sure. anxious and nervous and start freaking out. Really? Maybe that's why I, I'm like I have so much anxiety all the time. I just hold just my rub load. One in. Out, man. Yeah. 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 No, this been definitely for sure. Like the longest I've gone, I think is like probably like two weeks. Dude, sure. I don't. I literally don't think I could go a day without at least fucking rubbing it out. Really? Once. Yeah. Swear to God. No shit. What do you? What does that do for you? What is that? Like, what is what does that? it do for me? Yeah, like, what is the benefit of that? Obviously, it's like some releasing benefit. stress. I don't fucking. Know. I've heard a lot of people say that though. Like, I've heard a lot of people yeah. say like they that that's how they start their fucking day, or that's how like if they're well, super lot, like stressed I said, out, like, or like, but like I said multiple times, like it's like the middle of the night shit, bro. Like I wake oh, up just yeah, horny yeah. as shit, or yeah. I wake up in the morning horny as shit, just like shit like that. It's just like it's it's like inevitable. It's like it doesn't want to go away, so I have to like. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I do something, no, yeah. no, that's that's true. If there more times than not, if I'm gonna beat off, it's probably in the middle of the night or in the morning. Yeah. That's true. Now that I think about it. I would woke up the other night sleepwalking. Woke up in my office on my couch, literally sitting like this, like this, beating off, dude. I was like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, animal. It's like, what the fuck, dude? That's no, right. but your body's naturally trying to tell oh, no, you. No, no, you it was mo- it one. was Monday, dude. It was Monday night. That's why I had to cancel the podcast yesterday. I was fucking exhausted, dude. <laughs> cancel the podcast because he's up all night beating <laughs> off. <laughs> dude, dude, it was hello, dude. It was so weird. Dude, that's that. My arm hurting. Dude, it was so weird. That that shit hasn't happened to me in so fucking long, dude. That's sleep wanking, dude. Just fucking just sleep. I just sleepwalked in my office. I'm assuming to take a piss. And I probably my dick was probably rock hard. Took a piss, and my, my body apparently decided that this is what we needed to do, and that's what we did. I just if I ever woke up and I was just mid just mid play, I'm like, whoa, what the fuck? That's never happened to you? No. Whoa, really? What the? That's why I'm fucking freaking out over you. No shit. <laughs> Wanking. Oh yeah, dude. No, that should. That, I had a serious issue with that when I was younger. I've never actually told anybody this. I don't, what better way than to tell the thousands of people? Here we go. Um, yeah, I had a serious issue with that when I was younger, dude. I would just beat off in my sleep every what fucking fuck? night. Every, dude, every night. When I was a teenager, oh, dude. Yeah, and that's after I'd already beat off twice during the day because I'm a fucking animal no, I, as a no, teenager. No, I 100% agree with you. But yeah, it was, just, it was literally- It's crazy I, as fuck. The worst part about it, well, think about, think about the downsides of this. You're at your boy's house. You're at your boy's house. Oh, no. You're beating off at your boy's house. Or, or way worse than that. Because that's not even that bad if you're sleeping on the floor. Sometimes you're not. Sometimes you're sharing a bed with him. Oh, well, now you're beating off in the bed with your boy, dude. And they're like, what the fuck? What the fuck is this? And then they reach over and start helping you. And you're like, you're so turned on that you're like, you're like, what the fuck, dude? Shut the fuck up. You're like, all right, whatever. No, but I'm, I'm being dead serious to like. They're not about the helping part, obviously. I'm kidding about that. But I'm being dead ass serious. That was a serious issue That's in my crazy. younger days. You got that never happened to you. No. no. Damn. You know the one dude. time you know the time the like the only time that I beat off like a lot, like a lot a lot, is like when I have like raging headaches. What? Bro, I don't know why, but you it's like me. It was, I swear. I don't know if it like okay. if it like takes my mind off my headache. You just got headaches every day or what? Or why just like no, 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 no. Like if I got like a really headache, dude, I was jerk off like fucking like six times within like <laughs> four hours. <laughs> I knew that was a bad idea to take a drink. No, oh, for real. Like what are you talking about? I don't know about? if it's what like, it, about? Know, it's like my throbbing headache is just like fuck, and then like to take my mind off it, I just like think about sex or fucking some for some reason my dick is hard i have no idea but it's like or maybe it's like taking the blood out of my fucking brain and putting my dick to like relieve the fucking pressure on my head but for some reason when i have raging fucking headaches 
I just jerk off a lot. Next time BMO tries to deny that he's a sex addict, just make sure you bring this back up. You're a fucking <laughs> sex addict, dude. I'm, I'm a sex addict because I jerk off when I got headaches? I mean, yeah. I do the same thing when I'm in, like, hella pain. It gets your mind off What? Pain. Yeah, I'm relieving the fucking stress from my head, dude. What do you mean? That's not I'm a sex addict. I'm fucking... I think I... I'm I think, a fucking... I'm worried about my goddamn we're self. We're just learning every I'm worried about fucking my, thing tonight. I'm worried about my health. Dude, we're just getting real honest tonight. I think maybe that's why I don't jerk off a it's lot It's not even anymore. fucking honest, dude. I, I, I guarantee of 90% happened. of fucking... You guys are fucking weird, but like, no, people probably no, do this shit. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, I can promise bro. you right now, nobody, nobody, no other man has enough time to be like, I got a headache. Fucking bang one out seven times. Bro, you wake up like you're kind of like sick or hungover. You got a bad, you're like you got a raising fucking headache. Dude, you get a fucking boner, you jerk it off. And you do it like seven times because it like relieves your <laughs> headache. I swear to God. Dude, I don't. I, dude, well, I like gotta, you're kind of sick. You I gotta jerk put off. This out. I got to put this out as a clip to see if there's anybody else out there that fucking experiences. Nobody's even like, yeah, that's me too. Yeah, yeah that's but, you're right. But, you're right, you're yeah, right. Nobody that, else is as honest as us. Yeah, Not a fucking chance. But that's them too. Or like you like. If you're like a sick, like you take a sick day, like you don't actually feel like that great, but you're not like sick, sick, you're, you're jerking sick off, day. bro. No. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, you are. Okay, you're right, you're right. <laughs> probably like four to five times. You got, you got the, fu- okay, once, once. <laughs> yeah, probably, probably <laughs> one. four to five times. <laughs> Stop, four to five times, dude. One if you're not time. doing it four to five times, then what the fuck are you doing with the rest of your day, you're bro? You're chill- chilling. I'm chilling watching fucking Disney hey, movies. Shut I don't up. know. Or I don't jerking know. off. Eating food. I don't know. Going to sleep because you don't feel that great. I feel like I got bump off my numbers now because Brandon's out here saying four dude. to five times. Like, what the fuck? Okay, okay you don't feel okay, good. Maybe, jerking maybe. off makes you feel better for like that time being, and then you and then you feel like shit again. You go, the go back to bed. <laughs> you- <laughs> <laughs> Until you can get it back up. <laughs> the only time that I will jerk off, the only thing that I could even consider jerking off more than once is like I jerk off, finish. I'm like, I'm not done yet. Jerk off again, maybe jerk off a third time. All within the same session, but I'm only getting, I'm only actually coming once. See, and then I'm weird, blowing though. ghost loads the other two or three <laughs> times, but I'm just not done yet. I'm ready. I'm still going. See, that's like a waste of time. No, well, fuck you. Well, who are you to say? <laughs> that's a good time for me. <laughs> You, oh, 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 is that a waste of time, Mr. Seven times a day? <laughs> yeah, but at least I'm fucking getting off every time I'm not just blowing fucking air. People, people's like, yeah, I waste seven hours. <laughs> That's a waste of time. <laughs> yeah. Little ghost loads. Dude, that sounds no, stupid. Doug, I'm efficient. I'm efficient. This is what we call efficiency. Ghost That's loads. the absolutely opposite of efficient. Dude, I'm trying to get these fucking babies out of me. <laughs> dude, you're just not even doing that. Oh, yeah. You, uh, check it out. You're, you got a waste of time and you're wasting loads. You're wasting potential children. You're wasting time. Oh, fuck. You're a waster. Well, let me guess. You litter as well, huh? <laughs> Yeah, all the time. Well, fucking, that's all I needed here. Yeah. Actually, I don't litter very often. You better not. I'm a pretty good. If you're uh, still littering in 2021, yeah, fuck, fuck you. I'm a pretty good person about like throwing my shit away. Yeah, everybody should, dude. dude. You should eat organic. Don't fucking litter. Be a good fucking person, dude. Be a good fucking person. Drink your water. Read your books. I I used to know this guy, and every time we'd go like. To like go and like re up on some certain stuff, we'd be driving like on some fucking sketchy back road. This motherfucker would just roll down his window and just start cleaning out his car as we're driving, just whole papers out the window. And it's like, not just throwing like one thing, like just throwing literally cleaning his car as we're driving. Like bottles are going out, papers going out, mail's going out. Fucking a that's one, fucking one extra insane. sock. You know what I'm saying? Like, I would actually be less surprised if you would have told me, yeah, we used to go and then the person we'd buy drugs from, he would just kill him and take the drugs. I'd be less surprised by that. <laughs> that's fucking insane. Do you know what kind of psychopath you got to be to just be like, fuck it all. Fuck it all. Let's just toss it. He literally would. Like, that's it, just crazy. It blew my dude. mind. Like, I, I maybe rode with him like once or tw- no. <laughs> dude, I'm not, I would have punched like him three dude. or four times. <laughs> yeah, for real. Like, I would reach over. I would have just fucking punched him. After the second dude. time, I was like, "Are you cleaning out your car?" And he's like, "Yeah, bro, I do it all the time." I'm like, "What the fuck is wrong with like you? Like the fuck you are, dude? <laughs> not on my watch." I can't act like I haven't like thrown shit out of a truck or car before though. Like I, I have, but like I don't do like regularly yeah, do yeah. it. Like I did it like as a joke or like drunk or something. Okay, I, I'll be real with you. The, the most I've done with this now that I just talked so much shit about it. The most I've done is like throwing a cigarette butt out, never lit, 
No, I will not fucking throw it out. Lit. I'll not around I'll here. Fucking, Jesus Christ. I'll put it out on my fucking fingers. I'll put it out. Whatever. I'll do whatever I have to do. But I have thrown a cigarette butt out the window. Undoubtedly. I feel bad about it, but it is what the fuck it is. You know, can't take it back. We're this is the honest show. Piece this is the shit. honest show. Piece of shit. I'm a piece of shit. I'm sorry. Shoes are off. We're getting. I know, honest. dude. Ugh, I'm jealous because I wore like dingy white socks today and not that <laughs> great of white socks today. They're like semi dingy. Well, I got flip flops on. So. You see what I'm saying? You know. So they're like, I think these ones got smileys on them. Yeah, they got smiley faces on them. But they're like semi dingy. They're not like that white. So I can't, I can't, I can't rock them. Well, I got flops and socks. So I don't really give a fuck. Yeah, but you look so comfy, dude. I want to be comfy with you. you come cuddle. Oh yeah. <laughs> I want to do a little more than cuddle. Anyways, you fucking dirtbags talking about all this <laughs> gross shit. I know, dude. I'm sorry for the listeners. Yeah. We just got into so much nasty ass shit. We apologize. It's really not our faults. It's Trev's fault, yeah, I think, is what it, happened. It's my fault. I think Trev... Oh, it was actually Trev's it fault. It was, yeah. He started talking about blowing loads on the floor. Disgusting animal. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Have you ever purposely started an argument with your significant other out of boredom? Maybe. No, I can't say I have. Absolutely not. Uh, okay, uh, hold on. Let me think about this. I'm, trying, I feel to, like I'm trying to think about when I was that, younger. Though. I'm trying to think about when I was younger because like when you're in high school, like you literally don't have anything else to do, it's, especially if you spend... You guys remember how it used to be when you'd spend a long time with a girl? I live with I live with a girl. So when you would spend an extended period of time with them in high school when you had no other obligations you would like start to go fucking crazy and you would start to argue for no, no reason, reason yeah. because you weren't going to work. You weren't going to school or whatever You're around them 24 like, seven. And you didn't know how to handle that as a, as a teenager, your fucking brain was like, what the fuck is this? Uh, literally two years ago, your mommy was taking care of you. Now you got this chick that you're living with. Like what the fuck is going on? So you would constantly get into fights. So I'm trying to think like maybe during that period of my life I did, but as an adult, Absolutely not. Not a fucking chance. I never like I never purposely started an argument like just because, but like there were like po- countless pointless arguments. But like, like you, never yeah. like purposely was like, I'm gonna fucking do this because like why not? <laughs> <laughs> There's like like a lot of women do. I'll be real with you. There's a lot of women that do that shit. Yeah. Like I, and I, some I don't men. Know. And some men. And some men. Trevor, are you one of those men? No. Let's be real with me. You can you don't have to lie to me, dog. It's the honest show. You did. You fucking did. You dirtbag, dog. What? You dirtbag. You start arguments, huh? I'm no, like, I don't. Okay. I'm okay. fucking like huge against uh it's like uh, confrontation in general. Yeah, like conflict within a relationship is like so easily resolved and people take yep. it to like such an extreme mm-hmm. when they like are arguing or do have an argument that it's just mm-hmm. like so pointless. And then yep. you start acting petty and then it turns into your ego your becomes petty, inflated. Your pettiness uh, rubs this person the wrong way. And then it just becomes something so much bigger than what it was from the beginning and shit. I've dealt with it. I've been through it. it I'm to the point where it's like, I've seen it and I'm just like, so done with it. Like, of course. It, 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 but the, I've also been to the point where, because I've been done with it for years, right? So I've also been in a relationship where I've also been done with the petty shit and the bullshit arguments. So I've been in a bullshit argument and petty shit's been thrown at me to where it's like, um, yada, yada, right? You know what I mean? Like, it's, it, we shouldn't even be talking about what we're talking about. This right. is stupid, right? Right. So I'm done with it. I'm done with the petty shit. Like, I don't even want to talk about it. So I ignore it. And more or less, it's like, I'm just going to fucking walk away. I said, I don't even want to talk about it. I want to walk away. You're just, all you're going to do is just get me fucking, fucking heated, just, right? Yeah, just leave me alone. Let me fucking... Then it goes, me not wanting to talk about it and me getting fucking heated that you keep fucking talking about it. And don't you not letting me walk away yep. and just fucking brush this off yep. creates a huge mm-hmm. fucking... A, a way bigger problem because they're trying to resolve it or are they trying to resolve it or are they trying to like continue on with the argument more or less like yeah like they're still trying to push their fucking issue okay. or they're like so, point, or even if they're trying to resolve it there's literally nothing to fucking resolve got it so that's why it's like I'm so fucking over it I don't want to deal with it I don't got time for it you got me fucking heated let me walk away 
you don't let me walk away and you keep coming at me as I'm walking away doing yeah. that shit, bro. You now you're just causing now you're causing fucking now, issues. Now it's like now you now you're waiting for me to fucking snap. I'm gonna freak the fuck out and then I'm gonna be disrespectful and I'm gonna be a piece of shit. Bitch, who caused it? You so, didn't let me get you didn't, didn't give me my moment to just chill the fuck out. So do you know why women do that? Men too. Okay, so I'm actually super guilty of that. I don't know why people do that, but I say because obviously they want a reaction. They want a reaction or they want to convey their point, like you're saying. Yeah. They want to make sure you understand their side of things. But the biggest underlying issue, because I suffer from it and I recently found this out, and it was responsible for a lot of fucking conflict with my life. When you do that, Bimo, when you walk away, you claim power and leave them powerless. So now you took power of the situation maturely and rightfully. You did that rightfully. But now they're like, oh, boy, what the fuck? Like, you just took that power from me. We were in this conversation, this argument together. You are being more mature and like trying to sort of diffuse the situation. You took the power from them. Yeah, but people I'm not, don't like to feel like that. That's, but, that is my biggest issue. But are you like getting left with like no resolution and getting walked away with, or yes and no? It could, See, it could go both ways. It could go like we've exhausted this. We're beating a dead horse. Yeah, and and Brooke will be like, "Fuck, I got, I got to just, I got to go outside." I'm like, I, I'm, I'm to the point in a relationship now where I'm like accepting that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because we've talked about this power dynamic deal. Yeah. But in the beginning, I'm like, "Nah, like, nah, we're gonna deal with this. Nah, we're gonna deal yeah. with this." So more or less is like what I mean by like me walking away is like I'm telling them like this is fucking dumb. Like we're literally talking about like something that is so pointless. Right. Right. So insignificant. Right. That it's like, why the fuck are we even causing a confrontation between us? Totally. For this. Right. Totally. So basically like those are the type of situations where I'm just like, all right, I'm done. I'm walking away. Like I'm not as, talk you, as you should. I'm not. Talk I'm not like. I, just, I, don't, I don't just walk away of course, and yeah. be like, oh, yeah, like, fuck you. You know what I mean? It's of just course. like, I'm just like, I'm not fucking talking about this no more. Like, that's, that's, this is the end of it. It's dead. Then I'll, like, walk away. I'll be like, give me a minute. You know what I mean? But then if they keep fucking nagging behind me as I'm walking away, that's where it causes fucking problems. Right. Bigger problems, more or less. One sec, people. Uh. <laughs> right. And and do you have every right to do that for sure. Yeah, I am very 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 passive when it comes to confrontation within like arguments within the relationship. Mm -hmm. Very very like I will avoid it at all costs. Nothing is a big deal to me when it comes to those tiny little arguments. That's why me and Brooke have never had ginormous fights is because we both kind of are like that to an extent we're both like yeah that shit it's not worth it it's not fucking worth it i would rather be like okay well yeah what the fuck are you upset about what did i do wrong what did you do wrong okay okay yeah. cool that's fine then it is what it is a lot of people especially men have a difficult time like you know swallowing their pride apologizing like yeah i was fucking wrong or like maybe i'm not even in the wrong okay my bad you know and just so it doesn't escalate because I hate that shit, dude. I fucking can't deal with it. I cannot deal with that shit. It bugs me. It just, it's a waste of fucking time. Why do that when we could be happy? Why the fuck do that when we could just be happy? We could just not argue. That's way better with me. A lot of arguments are super pointless. Super pointless. Super, super fucking point. pointless. So if you answered yes to starting an argument out of boredom, Right. Like you got you to find a hobby. Right. Or it could have been like me, you know, like they're like, fuck, I did do that back in the day. You know, it could have been something like that. Like, fuck, I used to do that. So yeah, I'll answer yes to this. I'll be honest. Like, have you ever then like maybe yes. Right. But like, yeah, you, I, I hope I hope the people that answered yes to this aren't still currently doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially if you're an adult doing that shit. You gotta figure your shit out. A lot, you of, people, your a shit lot out. of people do though. Like if they feel like they're like lacking attention, yeah, they'll literally say yep. some shit just to cause a confrontation. Yep. They really wear. Or like, hey, let me look at your phone. Why don't you? Why don't you let me, look, let me look at your phone then? Let me look at your phone. And even though typically it's a woman telling a man look at their phone because men, I think, are less likely to be like, hey. Woman, let me look at your phone. Or no. hey, chick, let me look at your phone. No, you're the other way around. Think so? Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Yeah. I think it's more common for women you're to the want. Other way around. 
You think that be... more men want to look at women's phones? Yeah, probably. Think so? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that might be a pretty equal one, to be honest. Now that I think about it, because like men are always worried that women are out fucking around. I think women are always worried men are out fucking around. Yeah, I think that um that might actually be really equal. No, nah, I think like we if, should ask that for next week. Yeah, I don't know. I think more. I think more dudes are more concerned about looking at a girl's phone than chicks looking at a dude's phone. I really think so. Okay, okay. That's, I'm really curious about that. That's a really good question. Because like it could literally go both. I've seen both ways. Yeah, but no dudes gonna be like, I never looked. At, I I ain't trying to look at no girl's phone. Right, 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 right. It's like, bro, yeah, they're sneaky as fuck. No, no girl puts her phone face up. And it's kind of hard because we have way more women answering these questions. So naturally, it's going to lean one way. Yeah, I mean, no, but I don't think that, I don't know. It's, it's hard to say. I've seen it both ways. I am talking from my personal opinion or from my personal perspective and experience, which is like, I don't, I've never cared about that. I've never wanted to do that. Um, I seen something, I seen something recently was like, why don't men want to look at women's phones? And like the comment on it was like, because we like to be happy. <laughs> I mean, like for real though. But dude. it's like, yeah, like if you don't want to get fucking feelings hurt because you might potentially see some old ass shit on there or maybe you have some new shit, yeah. maybe some dudes in her DMs that she's not even responding to me. That makes you butt her because you're insecure. Stay the fuck off her phone then. Like if you don't want to get, if you want to find shit you don't want to find. If you even think there's a potential that you could find some shit that's going to hurt your feelings or hurt you or hurt your relationship, one, why the fuck are you with that girl? Two, stay the fuck off her phone, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, stay the fuck off her phone. But for real, 90% of the time, if you're looking for some shit you don't want to find, you're going to find it. You're going to find it. You're going to fucking find you it. You will find it. I'm, I've met some fucking wild chicks like that, dude. But it's just like, but at the same time, it's like you're looking for shit that, like, Maybe they didn't even acknowledge or anything too, and guys get right. so butthurt about it. Right, that's that's very true. That's that's one downfall for men for sure. Like we do get hella butthurt about like dudes messaging like our girl or anything like that. Like we really do. Yeah, it, that's like you like that's me talking for me. I, I've been there as well. I'm not I, talking. I, I truly yeah. have. I've been there. I'm not talking for other dudes. I'm talking for myself. Like even seeing anybody messaging my girl or anything like that, bro. I'm I'm, I'm getting pissed. You know what I mean? Like I'm a fucking press this dude if I see him. Like for sure. Really? Yeah. Like that shit's just like annoying. And let's, yeah, Especially because yeah, like you yeah. know that we're together. If like you see like, a picture so of us together, it's so fucking clear. It's like, bro, if I see you, like I, like, why the fuck are you like? Why? How? First off, facts. How the fuck you like you want you want to fucking cause her to like cheat on me? That's weird as fuck. Like that's that's weird as fuck. You actually deserve. You, he deserves it, actually. Yeah, I he mean, deserves and, it. and if she does cheat with you, I mean, all right, then you fucking, Yeah, for sure. Then you deserve a goofy bitch, bro. For I mean, sure. For sure. 100%. 100%. But, yeah. but if you're going to, like, what the fuck message my chick after you, it's, it's clear as day that yeah. there's pictures all over Instagram with both of us. Like, if I find fuck? like if I find it, yeah, it's like. Like, that's weird as fuck. That's not okay. Just go home, dude. Just go home. There's so many other single females out here. Well, there's millions. Like, come well, on. there's fucking millions. <laughs> like, you, like, what are you doing? There's fucking millions, dude. I don't know. Man. It's insane. I don't know. I don't know. All right. This one, I already knew. I already knew BMO's answer to this one. Go ahead, BMO. In your opinion, do you think men or women hold on to things longer? Well, women aren't really holding on to anything. I'm holding on to this cock. No, just kidding. <laughs> uh, yeah, bro. I don't fucking know. I it, fuck it, it. It. So pull up the response to this one, Trev, if you can. The response is the. Re, it's twenty six percent said men, seventy four percent said women, and whoever this is, it replied. Said it could be either gender, but I think it also depends on the severity of the mistake. And that's kind of what I was like thinking yeah, I wanted to say when bit. I said, like, it fucking depends, you know, because it fucking certain shit has set very, very like sour with me. You know what I mean? To where I just like wasn't able, like I was, I said I was able to get over it, but like, yeah. was I really over it? Right. Probably yep. fucking not. 
Well, certain shit causes like legitimate trauma. Yeah. Like yeah. that's something you kind of can't like really get over unless you're, mm-hmm. you know, going to therapy or something yeah. for it or processing it with that person. For sure. So if you experience trauma in that relationship, wh- fuck for prime example, how, do, how the fuck do your trust issues begin? Trust issues begin from like developing trust issues within yeah. a relationship, not being resolved, mm-hmm. carrying that into your next relationship. All of a sudden you're fucking checking this chick's phone or your dude's phone for no goddamn reason. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, for some scenarios, like you're saying, like there are some scenarios that fuck, can't, it's hard to get over them. So you do carry them with you that like shapes who you are from that point forward. If you allow it to, yeah. if you don't, you know, look for fucking help to process it. So it's fucking, it's like a weird thing. Like, I can't say like men or women. Like I really can't say. Yeah, it's kind of I would hard. say it's like 50-50. Obviously, everybody here is probably going to say women because maybe women do hold on to things a little bit longer, but I think women hold on to smaller things rather than men. I think it's easier for me to get over a small bullshit rather than women. Like petty arguments. Yeah. It's easier for yeah. me to get over and they can hold on to it. It's almost yeah, like definitely. I said, like me trying to walk away and then keep coming at me. Definitely. You're right. Like they're right. like they don't get over the s- small shit as easy. But like the bigger shit is like the same shit. Like I feel like it's probably like 50-50. I really do because like Yeah, that's a that's a great point. That's a really good point. Like with cuz like I've had like shitty shit happen to me, right? Mm-hmm. And then I was never fucking like I like you said grudges are mistakes, right? So I basically like held a grudge against somebody. Yeah. And it it wasn't really until like I met somebody else or like kind of found myself before I moved on from right. that grudge. Like I figured mm-hmm. I found out like, you know what? Like we're both young. We're both doing stupid shit. Right. Like this person isn't going to do that. They're doing the opposite of that, but they might fuck me over in some other type of way. Right. But like, I see them for this. I see you for that. I actually don't even really care anymore that you did that. And that's like the whole thing with like hooking up with your exes. It's basically like all my exes, like you would hold a grudge against them for mm. doing something or like some having some type of shit happen to each other. But me moving on and finding myself and being like a better person myself, kind of just like I gave up on like holding a grudge or hating somebody right. that I've been with. Right. It's almost more, it's like I cared about this person or actually like fell in love with this person way more than this one mistake that they made or like this grudge that I hold against them. So it's like, I dropped that shit years ago. Yeah. And more or less, like, still love those people to this day and have friendships with them and can still talk to them like person to person, have no problem with who they're with or what's going on in their life. You were able to mature enough. Yeah. And you were able to process what had happened and the okay. trauma that it had fucking caused, if you want to use yeah. that word. Like we were saying, you know, you were, and, and until you were able to do that, it was affecting fucking relationships that you were in. And then eventually you were able to be like, all right. Like kind of, yeah, 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 kind of, sort of. It, it, yeah, kind of affected the relationships that I was, that I was in because I was almost looking for that in that person. And it didn't happen with them. I think you always do. So that's kind of why I moved on from it with them because they weren't doing that or weren't exactly. going to do that. Luckily, you were mature enough to recognize yeah, that yeah. Though. a lot of people aren't and they let it destroy the relationships. Yeah. So that's why it's I kind of like, yeah, so that's dude. why I kind of like gave up on like holding the grudges against those people and more or less like started to see like the better in them. And it's like, I this is why I love these people. This is why I care about these people. And that's why I like, I literally have no type of Resentment. Animosity towards yeah. anybody that I've ever been with. Yeah. Like literally all of them, I still kind of like still know and talk to. It's hard to like lead a healthy lifestyle or relationship if you are holding past resentments, grudges, you know, it's, it's really fucking hard. It's difficult as fuck. It's, it's hard to even build like a regular friendship with somebody. If you have yeah. resentment towards something that happened yeah. in the past, it's more or less just like made me more, I don't know. I don't know how to say it, but well, it, it creates a better version of yourself as well. S- sort of. It makes a better, it, it creates a better version of myself, but not really necessarily like for myself. Exactly. You get exactly. what I mean? A hundred percent. A hundred percent. It creates a better version of yourself for the relationships that you're currently in and are going to be in. Yeah, very much. But it also puts a like negative aspect on like relationships that aren't, 
that I see so quickly, like not being a thing, obviously like the one that she asked earlier, like, do you tell them like, no, but you see where it goes. But I'm like so fucking open to cause my, all my relationships have been so different and so shitty in different type of ways Got that it. is like, I've been through pretty much. I feel like fucking all of it almost. So it's almost like I'm willing to see where everything goes and then, but then I become the piece of shit when I'm just like, okay, this ain't for me after seeing trying to like where it's going to go mm. and then say, all right, well, this ain't going the way that I want it to go. Like really giving it the fucking chance. Like yeah, what you're saying. Yeah, but like, but actually being personable with them and saying like, Hey, this ain't yeah. gonna fucking happen. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah, just this, your lifestyle ain't my lifestyle. Then I'm just like this huge piece of shit. Like I led somebody on, but it's like, I wasn't leading you on because I wasn't, there was no like, I don't understand how to explain it. Like I was yeah. there yeah, hundred yeah. percent of the time that we were together. Like, like you were committed. Yeah. yeah like, I feel like leading on is like lack of commitment. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, but I wasn't, but there was no, there was no like leading somebody on. It was more or less just like, it came to a point where I realized this ain't for me. And that's when you should get out. That's fucking a hundred percent. Like that is a mature thing to do. Do you think this is, this is something I've wondered about, especially about you, because it's been a while since you've been in a relationship, right? Like a, like a, like a legitimate, like, like, like I'm dating this person relationship. Yeah. Probably like two years. So do you think you've grown enough and two and a half years learned enough by yourself, become un, like self-aware enough that the next relationship you get in, you'll be able to better identify the woman that you want. You'll know like the traits she needs to have how to keep her, the things you need to do. Do you think you've grown enough in that two years from past relationships to like the next relationship will be like fucking, this is, I know this is fucking, so, this will work. I, I mean, there's no guarantee, obviously. No, like but. I, like, so before my last relationship, I already knew. You get what I mean? Like I already knew and it's, apparently like somebody, because it's different, because it's hard to fucking identify somebody or like, you don't know what they're thinking. You don't know what they're going yeah. through. You know what I mean? Like you really don't without them fucking telling you. And if they don't tell you, then it's hard to fucking really go through a relationship. Like, yeah. Like going into relationship. Like you get what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah. like, so like before even my last relationship, like I know what I'm looking for. I know what I want. You know what I mean? Okay. So I thought I had what I wanted and I thought I knew what I wanted. And then it just became something that it wasn't because it's almost like, I don't know if, I don't think they knew what they wanted. Mm. I don't think they were ready. I think there might be a piece though that the further you get within understanding yourself, the more you attract the type of people you want. So yeah, yeah, yeah. it might not be like you understand them necessarily yet or know who they are or like you're, you're placing a safe bet on like this working out. It's like, all right. I am this person and I know she has the traits I want. So I'm attracting these type of yeah. women and maybe like that will benefit you. I, I don't know. That's no, I, I, I get that's it. That's kind of like how I look at it. Yeah. I, I could be wrong though. They were just like, so I don't know. I don't, cause I don't think I would say I have changed at all since my last relationship because I was pretty much like the person that I thought that I would be and want to be. But you've grown a lot. Yeah. E I mean, you've matured, obviously you've gotten older, you matured, you've figured yeah. out more about yourself. Yeah. I mean, you have to, I mean, yeah, I mean, definitely. But to a point like relationship status wise, like I feel like I'm going to, like I would go into my next relationship pretty much the same okay. way. Okay. Yeah. And it was just the, the lack of, communication and like some sort of respect i guess is what mm, fucking that's huge yeah definitely okay yeah uh, it was just something i was thinking about something i think about it because like obviously that that applies for every relationship From then and now though like i haven't really changed a lot by the way that i would go into things like i really haven't but maybe like a little bit i'm probably a little bit more open yeah now than i was like i'm not so like as far as communication goes or just in general? No, 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 no like, not communication because like, uh, uh, that's like, I, that's one thing that I've never lacked in in a relationship is talking about shit. It's always been my strongest, that's my strong suit. Yeah. Always. Like, I'll talk to you about anything. Yep. Like if I even like, if you, if I'm remotely upset about anything that you've done or always. anything like, because that's just the way that I am. I'm, I'm that way with my friends. Yeah. I'm that way about everything. Mm -hmm. 
If I don't fucking like something, dude, I'm going to fucking tell you. I'm a communicator, dude. That's the way I am. I, I, oh, yeah. You know I love to talk, dude. Yeah, if I don't, <laughs> like, but like, but that's how, but not like just like talking, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, but like yeah. shit that like it doesn't set right with me, yeah. I'm never the type of person to be like, I'm going to hold that in. Yeah, no. Even in the short time we've been doing this podcast, even. Like, yeah, because if I hold it in, dude, shit. I'm just going to be like, uh, and then I'm just going to fucking freak right. one day or some shit, you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. I'd rather... Uh, more or less just get it out and like talk talk through totally, it totally totally but being the in a relationship is better though. yeah being when in a relationship with somebody that does hold it in though and doesn't communicate is so fucking difficult it's impossible so fucking difficult it's impossible because you're you go you a fucking are, week and a half without some with some shit bothering them and <sighs> they're just acting like this whole different person yep and then fucking the two, the second week hits and then there's this huge blow up and you have no idea what it's about and it's fucking from two and a half weeks ago and then it's just this huge confrontation and it no causes idea. fucking months of problems. It's like, bro, you, we could have fucking settled that shit two and a half weeks ago and just talked through it. And that shit would have been squashed. Not a big deal. Who cares? I would have been like, my bad, whatever. That's not even, I, I used to cop that up to like immaturity, but truthfully, I don't even think it is. I think it's some people genuinely don't understand how to communicate no, and their it's brains weird. don't it, go there. It's weird, weird bro. Yeah. Cause I, I don't know how to communicate at all, and I'm I'm like that. Bro, yeah, if you need to say something, fucking I'll be say it. On some, some, some I just choose not to like, say it though. It's just like something in my body's just like shut. Just keep your mouth shut. Why? Really? I don't know. It's even I though don't you know, know if it, it was the way I was raised. I don't know if it was. Some of it's that. You know, some of it for some people is yeah. like how they were brought up or what they were shown. But for some people, it's like it's not worked out well for them communicating in the past so then they don't you know in their new relationship whether it just be a friendship or like an actual intimate relationship and they just choose not to because maybe it didn't work for them previously i don't know but i used to really i you I did i i'd fucking cop it up to immaturity but i don't think it's so much that anymore the more i understand i think it's just some people don't fucking get it like they don't yeah i don't get their it. their brain doesn't connect the dots to do that and then some people would, they do, which is, you know, is it the, is it our job? That's a good question. Is it our no, job as people no, that, no. that do communicate better? No. To still no. into like. Cause you guys aren't, it's not your job to be the mind reader. We'll, we'll eventually well, figure no. that shit out. Hmm. No, hmm. because, I, and you're not going to force anybody to say anything. And all you're going to do is just frustrate them fucking more than. Get it out of them. No, well, I don't so much being like that. I think where I'm, I, I don't mean like, like get it out of them or read their minds or anything like that. I think what I mean by that is like, as people that do communicate with them relationships, if you're dating somebody that doesn't or it can't communicate so easily, is it our jobs to encourage them to be like, Hey, I'm here. Fucking you can talk to me about this like hey let's work through this or like show them or teach them or like no uh, it's not you just manipulate them you just manipulate the fuck yeah. out of them yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> take advantage take advantage of them dude. <laughs> no but funny. yeah like for real yeah i mean to a point yeah yeah but no i mean you can't fucking get it out of people that are like that dude You're because like, if you have a skill that they don't have nah they're just not gonna do it there's fuck them fuck them they're not comfortable and not comfortable, which is weird. I don't know. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah, yeah. Which is weird though. Is like if you can't open up to somebody about some type of shit that you're in a relationship with, if you're not comfortable enough for that, then like you're fucking not. I, I don't know. It's, it's gonna be rough. It could be. Yeah, you're gonna, gonna have be a rough, a rough relationship, man. <laughs> it's gonna be a rough ride. You really are <laughs> because when life gets really real, like, <laughs> dude. And if you know, if you we really need to talk, like if I can see that somebody like knowingly, like I know that they have to say something, oh. I know something's going on, but they like won't say it, bro. That shit stresses me the fuck out. Like That's it worse. causes me to like fucking get like, not like pissed, but like, I know you got something going I on. I get OCD about it. Like I know something's going on. I get on. OCD see, with about me, it. me, like I would, I would, I would read your body language and I'd be like, okay, he's getting mad. I'm the one that made him mad. Maybe I should leave. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't oh. know. That's just the way I act. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Okay. I, I, okay. I don't know. We we get you know a different side of the topic, but I mean you you text me almost on a daily basis. You know how I text. It's like yeah. holy shit. You need a you need a whole 
Look, Austin's annoying as fuck texting. Decipher what I said. No, Austin's annoying as fuck when he texts. No, I'm a real texter, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm the f- hating myself because I told I'm Austin this the other day. I said, bro, if you need to fucking text me nine times, just call me. I can't call you at these times of day. I'm dude. starting to text like him now. I texted somebody no. and I literally sent him a sentence, another sentence, no, another no. sentence. And that's how I have to reply sentence. to him, but it's like, fuck, dude. You can't do it, motherfucker. I'm at work as well, so it's like I'm not yeah. trying to read 30 messages and reply to 30 messages. Like, no, you just gotta reply to one. That's put all. your earphone in and call me. Yeah, in a paragraph. I'm like, this fucking dude, just. But we're can't both at you, work. Can we just get off and just call me? <laughs> so send me brain, 30 dude. fucking messages. No, just because boop, 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 because boop, 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 my fucking it, it's usually if you guys notice, like when I when I have some ideas or shits flowing, it's in the morning time. Ah, it's on dude it's fucking on and by the afternoon I'm like I don't give a fuck about that conversation anymore I'm done I've already been done with that shit so I gotta get it out in the morning you yeah know? cause every time he texts me it's literally before I'm awake oh so, okay <laughs> you do the same shit to me because it's the morning time dude I'm fucked well, dude. yeah but you wake up at fucking I was like gonna say, I wake up 11 10. o'clock yeah but. yeah yeah in the morning time like my brain's fucking working my dude. alarm goes off at 6 but like at like 553 I get texts from this motherfucker and it's like ding, ding, that's ding, rare though that's ding. rare and I'm like that, if I text you in the morning that's super rare time to wake up <laughs> I'm like oh it's only awesome <laughs> fuck <laughs> seven minutes later my alarm goes off like this motherfucking piece it, of shit it, it, if it's in the morning like that it's super fucking rare it's like usually, every day usually it's like later schedule. in the morning usually it's like like that 7am it's mark. like every like it's like the morning after every podcast after it comes out or something it's like oh fuck dude do we fuck up this episode Oh fuck! I don't know how I feel about it. Oh, um, <laughs> did we? Uh, <laughs> he has his phone set to like auto send us messages at oh, specific times. I do. Yeah, my brain just works like that on certain times of days. I don't know. Certain time of the day, my brain just kicking, dude. I know I'm in trouble if I wake up and there's like five unread messages from you. I'm like, nah. oh fuck, I fuck something up. No, never. I just fucking had suggestions or this or that or like, hey, do this or hey, we should do this or. I don't know. That's just how I am. That's why I want to do the podcast so badly in the morning because my brain is fucking fire and hot oh, in the Jesus. morning time, dude. We're here for fucking seven hours. <laughs> dude, the podcast will run four hours for sure, dude. My well, brain my brain halfway fires when we do podcasts at night. I can't really like I'm not here. I'm trying my best. I really am. I eat a good meal before the podcast. I put a bunch of good shit in my body, get good sleep. I take it serious. So in the morning I, time, I could fire off shit, dude. I got off work, went home, took a shower, took a dab, got a soda, jumped in the truck, oh my and God. I'm here. Oh my and God, you had Trev. dinner? Speaking of food, I gotta go eat. We got anything else, boys? I think that's no, it, that guys. Was it. I think that's fucking that was it. All. That was a pretty fun show. Fucking A. That was a good show. I'm sorry uh, we talked about so much fucking coming, but... Skirt pop. Hey. <laughs> That's just, loads. that's just fucking, that's just what we talked about tonight. So, aka spooky loads. I know it'll be uh, a lot of laughs. Got a headache? Rub it out. You got a headache? Rub it out. I promise. This episode's name is Headache Rub and Tug. Rub and Tug. Yeah, headache Rub and Tug. I mean, it works for both sides. I mean, if you got I'm a headache, rub and tug it myself. Ooh. Rub it out. If you got a headache, tug it out. All right. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> this is a good one, boys. All right, y'all. Make sure to go subscribe to our YouTube channel. Subscribe to the motherfucking podcast. Follow us on our socials. And once again, if you have anything to send into the show for us to discuss, if you have anything you want us to react to, if you have any personal shit, if you need some relationship help, either DM myself, be more Trev, or if you want it to remain super anonymous, Email us at Friday Night Therapy 3 at gmail.com. We love you, motherfuckers. We out this bitch. Love you guys. Braves are World Series champions.